So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another video in MongoDB aggregation framework in which we're going to take a look at what the skip operator does in the aggregation pipeline. So working with skip operator is basically just like what it says, you skip a certain set of documents, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this right here and I'm going to run this query again. So you see that this is the query we have with two documents, username Mehul, age 21, username Alex and age 18. Now if I write skip one here, what is going to happen is that whatever operator three here is, it's going to receive all the documents except the first n documents, which is written. In this case, just the one. So it won't, it won't receive the first document. It will only receive the second document, right? Only receive all the documents after the first one, which in this case is just a single document. So if I go ahead and run this, obviously removing the OP3, if I run this, you're going to see we just get Alex out here and H18, right? Similarly, you, you saw that with limit, what happened is that you restricted the number of documents which were about, which were allowed to pass. So in this case, we only got the first document and with skip, we only got the last or the second document, I should rather say, right? Not the last document, the second document, because we, we skipped the first document. So this is how skip works and skip and limit works together in a beautiful way to create an effect known as paging. So paging basically means that you have, um, you know, for example, let's say you are a big site who has tens of thousands of blog articles and now you want to create a paging like thing where you have those little numbers at the bottom of the screen and you can jump to a single page, right? So how do you jump to a particular page? Well, you say, I want to skip the, let's say 10 is the number of records. I want to skip to page number this. So you have, um, this as the page number and what you want is you want to limit the result to how many records you want so you skip the first uh let's say this is five so you skip the first 50 page records and then you limit the results by the top 10 so you get basically you get the sixth page for yourself right so that's how skip and limit would work together in big applications in the inside the pipeline aggregation framework and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And that's all. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then in the next one.